bills of exchange so let me explain what is the bills of exchange so it is world concept I'm not sure whether it is uh, in multiple countries already stopped this uh, using this one for example let's say we have one customer invoice for 18,000 so the moment we posted the customer invoice you have one update in the reconciliation account also this is your accounts receivable updated 18,000 and we are expecting that we will receive this payment if you receive the payment it's okay but suppose we have not received this payment so in that case we are going to convert this normal item this is your normal item this normal item into receivable item sorry bills receivable item so basically bills receivable is it's a promise to pay that means for example if I am the customer in a legal document I will write it I Pradeep agrees to make the payment to this party on this date if I will make or if I will fail the payment then I will liable in the court of law so something like legal uh, with notary registration this will become one legal document so the moment we are going to convert bills of exchange promissory net both are same promise to payment if it is initiated by customer then we are saying it is promissory note if it is initiated by vendor and accepted by customer then it is bills of exchange so as customer failed to make the payment we are going to convert the normal item into bills receivable normal item into bills receivable and which is let's say this is overdue customer here got some time for payment let's say this is payable on 30th June so we have to wait till 30th June to receive this payment now we have option we can discount this in bank that means we can present this one in our bank and bank will make the payment to, to us or who is going to discount the bill so bank will let's say bank will pay or we will receive here collection will be let's say 17,800 and bank commission 200 mm. okay so let's say it is raised on it is raised on this one and due on 20th and we discounted this one before due date and bank accepted the bill by paying 17,800 was and bank commission is 200 this process is known as discounted process the relation the transactions between the bank and bank will on due date bank will recover this amount from customer so sorry yeah, I muted. I muted. So a bank will recover this amount from customer on due date, and this particular transaction happens in good faith. That means we are assuming that on due date, on 30th June, customer will make the payment, right? And one update: when we are going to convert this item into bills receivable, this will convert into cleared items. Initially, it will be open item. Once you will raise the bill, it will convert into cleared item. this will convert into clear item right okay so if suppose customer will not honor the bill or the payment to the bank so there is no direct contract between bank and customer and bank so they will bank will recover this payment from us so simultaneously because we presented the bill so simultaneously we have to raise one contingent liability contingent liability is something which may or may not occur 
if customer will make the payment then we will reverse it if customer will not make the payment then we have to pay to the bank so this one technically known as bank bills discount bank bills discount we have to create a contingent liability for 18000 so this is the concept of bills receivable from vendor point of view so configuration is create certain ledgers create one contingent liability sorry create one um, bills receivable under current asset this is also receivable customer number so both your account receivable and bills receivable your reconciliation accounts but this one we are using as normal and this one we will use as alternate reconciliation account okay one more account required here so when we will receive the funds we bank will not give you the cash so they will credit to your bank account but right now we don't have the bank configuration i'm just creating one dummy bank account as incoming bank account on our current asset there is nothing called incoming bank account just i'm creating one dummy bank account and activate here open item management because in future we will do the reconciliation sort key 27 that is validate all this concept i will explain in bank topic fill status group 5 for recording the or for posting the transaction the commission we need one expense account also because bank will deduct 200 as commission that is our expense bank commission and one contingent liability or bank bills discount current liability activate open item management because first we are going to credit the account when we will present this then we will reverse it and this should be auto posting okay so these are the accounts are required so like your customer advance what we did so you need to assign both reconciliation accounts or we need to assign the uh, defined reconciliation account transaction code OBYN and part of your business transaction.
receivable payable business transaction bills of exchange actually bills of exchange configuration is not here only informations are there you can see no configuration step if you click here it will it will say redirect it to bank accounting okay so bank accounting business transaction bills of exchange transaction so go to bank accounting business transaction bills of exchange transaction bills of exchange receivable or payable so first we are doing the receivable post bill of exchange receivable same concept if we are vendor then it is bills receivable if we are customer bills payable define alternate reconciliation account here indicator is W bills of exchange receivable double click add both the recon same concept same step add both the reconciliation account one is your accounts receivable 3006 and alternate bills receivable 3008 Okay, this is OBYN. Then, next step define accounts for bills of exchange transaction. Bill, bank discount charges, double click. Add the ledger. Bank commission 1510. this one done okay next present sorry not this one present bills of exchange receivable at bank define bank sub account in which account we are going to receive the funds chart of account bank sub account incoming bank account you don't know concept of bank sub account for the timing you take bank account only 3009 usage discounting special gl indicator w customer reconciliation account normal reconciliation accounts receivable 3006 and bank sub account for liability contingent liability 3506 so in this step we define in which account we are going to receive the funds 3009 and simultaneously we have created one contingent liability and everything linked with your account is receivable okay that's it so let me check whether we have any account is there or not open items are there or not not 3n pl 5n now let me post one invoice then Okay, now we have 
one open invoice is there receivable and status is overdue so in this case the amount is overdue customer did not pay it so we are going to raise the bills so bill what is the accounting entry bills receivable it is as if collection normally what we are doing cash account we are debiting or bank account we are debiting and we are crediting the customer then it, it is going to convert into cleared item so that means 18,000 will convert into cleared item by posting this entry now instead of cash account we are going to raise one another account so we are debiting the customer once again so here customer will debit but which is your bills receivable so once you will raise this bills receivable so this line item this document document number 180005 will convert into cleared item and one more open item will be there in the bills receivable alternate account okay so right now you are having two open items accounts receivable we have open item 3006 and we will get the open item 3008 so right now we have open item accounts receivable go for collection but not not, not the normal collection go for bills of exchange payment transaction code f-36 counting financial accounting accounts receivable then document entry bills of exchange payment so we are raising the bill today and customer will accept it bills raised 09 posting key customer will debit special GL debit select the customer select open item raising the bill for 18,000 due on 30th June issue date current date Planned usage discounting means we have the option we can discount it. Select open items. Maybe uh, like you have multiple invoice. So on which invoice we are going to raise, raise the bill. So it, it is similar to your collection screen. Simulate. Customer we are debiting and customer we are crediting. Here it will be account receivable will credit. Bills receivable will debit. So indicator W. This is your collection as usual. Post. One more document generated. So now, if I we'll check this account, your customer cleared. No open item. Close it. You have this open item also cleared. And we got another receivable bills receivable with a different document number amount is same so normal invoice converted into bills receivable okay now wait for month end and we can do the collection otherwise we can discount it f-33 let's say this one discounted next day Best discounted any banking transaction uh, value date is mandatory so take value date why mandatory all this just hold this for bank topic add the bank account
bank will make the payment 17,800 charges 200 bills discounted select the bill ignore the message I'm taking the <coughs> next day add the document number Select bill. Okay, check the accounting entry. Bank commission debited 200. Incoming bank account 17,800. Bank bill discount. This is your credit entry, contingent liability. Bank bill discount 18,000. Here, let me let me do this once again. Let's select the current debt. Bills discounted, value date. Bank sub account. 3009. 17,800. Bank charges 200. Bills discounted. Select the document number, but it should be processed in the future date or when we are doing it's not in the same date. Maybe if right now we are having only one bills of exchange, so we don't have the option select bills of exchange. The moment I'm selecting, I'm getting updated only. If you are having multiple bills of open items or bills receivable, then you can select the Specified like which bill you want to select document simulate Post it So at this stage although we have received the money, but still we will continue the bills receivable as open item so now if you'll see here Bills receivable after collection also it will continue as open item Commission account debited 200 as expense. Accounts receivable already cleared. Bills receivable still we have as open item. Funds receive it is there open item till the reconciliation. And contingent liability raised 18,000. Fine. So we have open item bank bills discount contingent liability. And we have open account also open item in 15,000 uh, this why because if customer will not make the payment then we will recover this amount from Customer so that's why we are continuing this bills as open item Now reverse it assume that customer made the payment Select the bills of exchange account 3008 due by 30th June. Bills receivable convert into cleared item. 
it's showing cleared item only because uh, open item we raised before some date then this will be continued as open item because we have to do the bank reconciliation and contingent liability also cleared but i will select here Okay, so both items are there. So we re reverse it. This is your bills receivable. Now coming to bills payable. Bills payable is very simple because as a, a customer, we don't have to do anything. All this activity is by vendor only. For customer, there is nothing. Just we are going to raise the bill or vendor will raise the bill. We will accept it and we will make the payment so let's say do we have let me check if you have any vendor invoice we can utilize that no let me post one vendor invoice Let's say one invoice is there, 15,000, and simultaneously you have one open item also, payable. Accounts payable, 15,000. We are going to convert, or the vendor will raise the bill, and we have to accept it. So you will have bills payable. The normal invoice accounts payable we are going to convert into bills payable so same configuration step create one alternate reconciliation account as bills payable under current liability this is your normal reconciliation accounts payable create one more reconciliation account Assign this alternate reconciliation account. Bank accounting. Business transaction. Bills of exchange transaction. Bills payable. These are not part of FI. So you will not get any certification question from this area. Create bills of exchange payable. Define alternate reconciliation account. Double click. Reconciliation account. Accounts payable 3503 and special GL 3507. That's it. Raise one invoice. We are not going to do or discount this anywhere because vendor will carry this bill, vendor will hold this and they will um, discount or they will collect whatever. On due date, we are going to make the payment. That's it.
Okay, now you have the open item here. Accounts payable. Bills payable. No, sorry, accounts payable 3503. 15,000. But it's overdue item and uh, we have not received. We have a open item in the vendor item also. So you'll find open item in vendor also. Fifteen thousand, which is overdue, and we are going to customer, uh, sorry, vendor raise the bill, and we will accept it. Payment F does 40. So here we are going to credit. Sorry, vendor is already credited. We will debit the vendor in that place. We are going to raise one bills payable. And this one is bills accepted. Select open item. Due on okay, post it. New document generated and old document cleared. No open item in the bills payable sorry accounts payable rather we have open item in bills payable so this one we will make the payment on due date now payment is not possible because for this bank configuration required so without bank this will not work if we we'll go to outgoing payment we have to process this one F dash 58. Okay, for this bank configuration required. So our next, so receivable on hold, payable also on hold. Then we will start with bank configuration. Then we will once we have the bank part will over, then we can or uh, at a time we are we we, we can able to complete bank receivable payable. So to, uh, tomorrow we will start with bank account. So once we have the bank because so far all receivable payable cash transactions we did we know where we use the bank account banking transactions.